and that's the little island and you can see um, the camera's level with my eyes which is still at the bottom of the island so incredible how much uh, depth of water is going to be here Eel, eel, too. Eel, eel, too. I've just left Indio Bay, Indian Beach. That's where I camped last night. I've got, got polish on my uh, Anyway, yeah, I'm just going for a wander around, and there's a lighthouse here that's all covered up so it must be uh, I can say they're all wooden lighthouses and it's been getting repaired by the looks of it there's a donation box there but it's a gorgeous day today but I was camped right over in the distance on that bit sticking out Above the tree around that corner. I don't know what video this is, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know where I am. I'll have to put it up on screen. But this is the park up for the night. It's a bit of a gravel, find it. Found it on. Uh, Park for the night, funny enough. The beach they have found. What was that? Uh, they found dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, well not complete dinosaurs, but dinosaurs in the the mud. You'll see when you get down there. But the because uh, the water's eroding the soil or the mud away or the whatever. And they've uh, found recently some uh, dinosaur bones. So, we'll go and have a look. Now, it's quite interesting when you uh, see a sign like that warning, risk of drowning. <coughs> Incredible. There's a bone there. It's not a dinosaur bone. But the tides are pretty incredible around here. They are just so, so big. So, so big. So, so it's like... Uh, so it's not actually rock, it's... Uh, When I pulled, came up here, it was up to about there, at the bottom of these steps. And it's certainly uh, gone out now. Makes you think how long this is going to last because it's uh, not the uh, strongest of things. So I'm going to have to come back later on. When it's uh, you need to watch trees because it's uh, going to disappear at some point. But uh, yeah, so this is what the tide is now. And it's dropped probably six feet already. And there's more rocky underneath. But you should be able to go across that. Huh. You can see where the water is in these puddles and how far down it is now oh. yeah. so we'll come back later on 
went. The tide's gone out some more. Because that island eventually is going to disappear, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll have a look later on when the tide's gone completely out. Well, it shows you when they've uh, somebody's carved steps into the rock. Right, let's go and uh, get something to a nosh and we'll come back later on and have a butchers. Fee fi fo fum. Who's up chick trapping across my bridge? My time, all time favourite uh, kid stories. Who's that? Well, apparently the world's highest tidal happens here. That doesn't surprise me. Well, as I'm walking back to the Land Rover, I found a 10 Canadian dollars. In the I've washed it because it's it were all covered in mud and bent over and obviously bits come off. But yeah, I'm glad it's plastic and not uh, paper because it would have destroyed it. So day's getting better, even though it's shut. But there you go, ten dollars to me. Woohoo! It's a bit chilly. Anyway, oh, that's all I do is moaning about fucking how cold it is. Wuss, Yorkshire lad. So you remember when I came down and videoed this beach and say the tidals are the highest in the world well have a look at these this is the same spot that I videoed not too long ago so you see that big rock over there didn't see that I felt the tide has gone out and I still I think it is on its way out. I know, as I was saying earlier, the water comes to here and it's way out there. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. If you remember, the sea was here not too long ago. Quite incredible, is this? As you can see how it's undermining it. How it's undermining it, and it's going to fall in eventually. Yeah, so you can see. Oh wow! But this is the water level. It's probably about there. And that's how far down it is. Jesus. Jeezy macaroni. I'm probably 5'10, five, 5'11. Five, so that's probably 30 feet plus. Fascinating how it does that. Didn't expect to walk around this island though, that's for sure. Oh wow! Yeah. Now that seriously cool seriously seriously cool but it ain't gonna be too long before this is all uh, let's see Jesus that's incredible 
I do actually do want to go in there, but I ain't. Get a bit further up. It's quite spectacular. Quite spectacular. And I don't want to get stuck here. That's for sure. Absolutely incredible. And look how far it's gone out over there. Well. I'm glad I stopped here actually. It was completely by accident. But that's why uh, I wander around and find what I find. Because you never know what you're going to find. And then you get a different piece of rock that's completely different. Might be gold underneath it. Yeah. But it's actually different rock. Yeah. And that's softer than that. So it must mean it's uh this one's sediment, solid sedimentary layer. All right. I don't know. I'm making the ship as I go along. Give us a break. You're laughing at me like a goo. It just looks weird. It's like an ampl amphitheater. Ampl amphitheater. So these, I'll get washed out. Washed in, washed out, washed in. Because these are floating about. Yeah. So I bet if I fuck on tomorrow, these are probably moved. I could think what else is in there. Like, yeah, I've been smashed against that. Interesting. I've come out to the water's edge. Well, top of this rock. Directly in front of us there was all them trees in the bay bit. And then this bit in front is the island. Well good morning you two. Well you remember yesterday I was stood on this very rock and had you around here sea was lapping against this rock that I'm at. Now turn around. Which was lapping against this rock here. And now the sea is way out there. So it goes from that height there. Here, right until all this rock in front of us is all covered. See that white side? Just below that, that's the sea level. Even more wowing yesterday. This is the morning I thought thought it would have come out. But you look at the the rock, how it looks like molten concrete. 
I wonder if it's actually lava, lava rock. How it looks. Anyway, I'm putting this camera away because my hands are cold. And that's the little island. And you can see um, the camera's level with my eyes, which is still at the bottom of the island. So incredible how much uh, depth of water is going to be here in a few hours. I think the uh, it, it's about six hours. I think I've read somewhere. It takes to go out and then six hours to come back in. But once it starts coming in, it comes in fairly fast. I don't want your food, you're fine. Show me what I'm going to be here for when it comes back in again. Well, I hope you like that little video. It might not be too little. Fascinating. Really fascinating. But this is on the north coast of Nova Scotia. A place called whatever it is, I'll put it up there. Because I forgot I've gotten it now. And it's like a little park job. Yeah, it's quite interesting. It's shut at the minute, but it's uh middle of april so anything doesn't should open till the first of may it looks a bit but yeah hopefully i enjoy this i find it fascinating that the water is so far out there and it's so low and then it comes to here so i'd be underwater my head would be underwater but it's a lot i, I said before about 40 feet no and the rest 60 maybe 100 feet so right i hope you enjoyed this little video i'm off to prince edward island i think it's prince edward island look it up guess later bye bye anyway. I'm still on this beach and it is a lovely beach this is where I'm parked up and this is the sea obviously so I'm just going to go for a bit of a wonder so I don't think it's mm, too bad a park up since it's absolutely free and it's a bit of a dead end road And there is a lighthouse up there. There is a bit of a parking parking lot there, but it's because it's the time of year it's shut. So 
This is the view that I have today. To be fair, it's a really good night's kip. That's night. That sneaky just tucked in there. But as we go up here, I've got important things. A cup of tea. 